Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode of 38 and here's what's coming up in today's episode. I think we will know come the end of today's episode if we've got what it takes to be Premier League champions. Three wins from three and I definitely think this title can be ours come the end of the season. And as for the Manchester United team, trying to get back into this title race, they line up in a 4-3-3 themselves with a fantastic side with Fred Lingard and Paul Pogba, their midfield trio. Back to the captain trying to run in behind Ruiz, and he's beaten him. Oh, and he's clipped the top of the crossbar. So, without question, one of the biggest episodes of this series, facing three of the top five in today's episode. And I think come the end of today, we'll know whether we've got what it takes to be Premier League champions or not. Bournemouth away from home in third place right now. Manchester United at home, and then Arsenal at home as well. All in the space of seven days. Right now, five points clear of Spurs, with 14 games to go. It could not get much bigger, domestically speaking, for Fulham. Massive episode today. First game, Bournemouth away. Let's just get straight to it. Huge game. What a huge test then. In form Bournemouth, away at the vitality as Eddie Howe's side right now sitting third place in the table and are having a sparkling season. They're lining up in a 4-4-1-1 with a very good team. I love their back four as well. Rico the left back, Tyrone Mings the right back and Ake and Vicari their centre backs. But as for our team after our thrilling win in Germany on Wednesday night, four changes to our lineup due to fitness reasons. Smalling and Brian come into our back four. Zamba replaces is Burge in the DM area and Richard Leeson gets the nod tonight starting on the right hand side. I think we will know come the end of today's episode if we've got what it takes to be Premier League champions. Three wins from three and I definitely think this title can be ours come the end of the season. Oh, poor pass by Nathan Ake, intercepted by Richard Leeson. Can he find Seri? First chance here. Acres of space for Seri for go for goal. But Begovic makes the save and the Bosnian turns behind for a corner. Fossi Mensa into Richard Leeson. And he will find Kearney, and he's got a bit of space himself. Oh, and Begovic again with another great save. Both our efforts coming from range. And the former Chelsea goalkeeper equal to both of them. Kearney's corner to the centre. Smalling's header into the side netting. Good spell of pressure. And that's going to do it for the first half. We are still tied at 0-0. Struggle to break down ball in that first half. All of our attempts coming from range. A draw wouldn't be a bad result away against informed ball, but I want to win and to go further clear at the top. Come on. Oh, he's done well there on Lazari. Kicks it back to Sergio Rico, who tight. kicks it long to Fossi Mensa, and he'll flick it on to Richard Leeson, who we didn't see much of in the first half. I want to get some more touches in the second as Balotelli finds Hudson Odoi off the bench here, down the right hand side, tight angle, go for goal, though. why not? Oh, off the post, and Sancho seems to miss kick the volley a little bit as it goes wide the post there. It seems to hit his shin more than anything. As it sails wide with Begovic's left hand post. Still 0 0. Good start to the second half, though, and already Hudson is showing why he's come off the bench. Abubakar to Plan Hart. Oh, he's, he's beaten Seri. He's beaten Seri, and he's beaten Skriniar. Wonderful solo run, and what a goal! Plan Hart puts the cherries in front. Bournemouth take the game and get themselves a goal up totally against the run of play for a wonderful piece of dribbling and a brilliant finish. 1 0. Plan Hart beats 1, beats 2, beats Free and puts it past Sergio Rico and into the back of the net. I must admit, I thought Rico could have done a bit better there. The shot goes through Smalling's legs. If Rico just stands still, it hits his chest. But instead, into the back of the net. Bournemouth in the front with their only shot in the game. Well, that is going to do it. Free kick for Bournemouth. They will take their time with this one. And as they still lead by a goal, it's going to be a huge, huge defeat for Fulham. As the final whistle is blown, we had so many shots, so many chances, we didn't take any of them. Bournemouth took the one chance they got and win it by a goal to nil. There'll be an inquest in the dressing room while we lost that one. Bournemouth won, Fulham nil. You saw the fist pump by Eddie Howday. You see what it means for his side to win this game and stay in the title race. But for us, so many shots, so many chances, but failing to score a single goal, such a disappointment. And man, actually, he's going to go to Asmir Begovic for uh, Bournemouth. Uh, Platten Hart, of course, scored the goal. A uh, lovely little solo effort, but Begovic made save after save after save in this game, preventing us from getting even a point. One of the final score, our undefeated streak is over, and that is a really damaging loss.
The gap at the top of the table has been cut to three points with just 13 games to go. We do have a game in hand on all the three teams below us right now, with Manchester United midweek and then Arsenal next weekend as well. If we fail to get a win in both of those games, we are going to be in serious trouble and could perhaps drop down a second place in the table heading into March. Big test us this for us now. Can we stand up and bounce back in midweek? And look at the team as well. Look at the team out there. Fossi Mensa, Seri, Balotelli and Sancho all far too tired to play this game. Ordinarily, I'd also drop Skriniar and Kenny to the bench as well, but I don't think I can afford to lose those two for this clash. This is so frustrating, man. We're tired. We, we, we couldn't beat Bournemouth. Uh, and now, with two big games to come, we're not going to be at full strength for these either. So back to Craven Cottage for the second game of today's episode, taking on Manchester United here on Tuesday night, three days after our loss to Bournemouth. Lining up in a 4-3-3, but it's a really makeshift Fulham team. I don't think we've ever used this lineup before. Lots of different players coming in that we've never put in a starting 11 together before, as our front three is now Calvert-Lewin on the left, Neres on the right, and Richard Lisa and the striker. And as for the Manchester United team, trying to get back into this title race, they line up in a 4 3 3 themselves with a fantastic side with Fred Lingard and Paul Pogba, their midfield trio, sporting Sanchez on the left, Zayek on the right, and Romelu Lukaku, their striker tonight. So, no Mario Balotelli in the starting 11. Hasn't scored a goal, actually, to be fair, in the Premier League in quite a few games now. He is our top scorer, but time to give another front trio a start and see how they get on as Calvert Lewin crosses to Kearney, headed away. And uh, Jay will take over and find Sander. And Sander back to Baker. It had the first shot of the game. And he forces De Gea into a save. Good start, Fulham. Let's get an early goal. Sanchez, a nice through ball to Romelu Lukaku. Skriniar playing catch up to the Belgium. He's done really well there, Skriniar. Very well indeed. As we shall pass out from the back. Still tied at 0-0. 26 minutes into the game. Yet to get inside United's penalty area so far. As Jay finds Kearney. That's got a change here. Reese James on the ball. Being direct, he's got Richard Leeson trying to run in behind, but it's read well by Marcos Rojo, still nil-nil. We, we've got to score tonight, you know, the goals have started drying up late in the Premier League. We've got to find a back of the net. Fourth for Fulham, six minutes to go in the half. Tommy's going to take it and whips it into Dominic Calvert-Lewin, and it's Sander who turns it in. Sander heads it home, a mistake by David De Gea, and there is the breakthrough. A six-foot-five defensive midfielder showing his aerial presence, nods it in, it's 1-0 Fulham. Tom's delivery was teasing, it was testing, but De Gea gets caught in no man's land and Sander punishes the Spaniard, nods it into the bottom corner, gives us the breakthrough. It's a bit of a scrappy goal, but Lord knows we will take it. Fulham 1, United 0. Kaku through to Sanchez and now Lingard. Oh, big letter. First time United have breached our back line and thankfully Rico not tested. 30 minutes to go, still up by a goal. Game far from done though. We've got to hold on to these three points here. Manchester United Lingard. started the second half off well. Lingard's cross, read well by Skriniar. And it's going to be a long 24 minutes here. We're still up by a goal. We cannot afford to throw away these three points and have back-to-back games where we failed to win. If we wanted a title, we've got to string results together. Lukaku down the right-hand side. Crossing, dangerous. Rico. Oh, Pogba. Hits the woodwork and Tarkowski gets it away. I didn't know where that ball was dropping. Hits the frame of the goal. And Manchester United with a free kick. 30 minutes to go. Can we hang on? The lead is still one with 15 minutes to go. Ball to the middle. Headed away by Cease. That's what I brought him on for. As Bacon nods on to Schürrle. And now a chance on a break here. Richard Leeson feeds the German through. And Andre Schürrle is in behind the back line. With a chance to wrap up the points. And make sure this win is ours. De Gea makes the save. And Manchester United clear. That should have been the game over. Over as Richard Leeson turns and can't shoot. Should have been two. Well, that should do it. We might not get the second goal, but we do hold on to the three points. 1 0 the final score, and thank goodness for that. We bounce back in midweek, get a big victory here, and keep ourselves top of the table. Very difficult game, this one. Very difficult to play in. It was such a tough test for us, especially with a much changed lineup. But we did come through and get the three points. So, Manoj will go to the game winner, San, who defended well, and also, of course, popped up with the game winner as well his third of the season. Fulham 1, United 0, still top. And how did the other results get on? Uh, we can see that Arsenal drew a Crystal Palace, so a good result there. And Spurs did not play. It's getting to that stage of the season now where you want to check the league table after every single game your team plays. Six points clear of Spurs, 12 games to go. No one has a game in hand in the top three right now. And next up, fifth place, Arsenal at home. Doesn't get much easier. 
but just before that, we do have some tournament prize money uh, from the FA Cup after our progress into the quarterfinals. And let's find out who we'll be taking on together in the FA Cup uh, last day. It's going to be... Dun, 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 dun... Wolves away at Molyneux. Liverpool versus Cardiff. Oh, Manchester United versus Arsenal. Great tie there. And a West Brom versus Everton. So Wolves away at Molyneux. When is that game going to be played? So we've got some tough fixtures to come. We've got Arsenal here in the final game of February. Then Manchester City... Dortmund in the second leg, then Wolves, then Spurs at home as well. Honestly, man, this run of fixtures is crazy for Fulham. What a big test for us. So third and final game of today's big episode as we play host to Arsenal in a London derby here at Craven Cottage. And for the first time, we're back to our normal starting 11. We're not fully fit for the game. We've got a week until the next clash against Manchester City. So I'm going to trust my regular first 11 to get the job done today. So 4-3-3 three, three with our best possible team. Let's make it back-to-back -back wins here against an Arsenal side lining up in a superb 4-2-3-1 trying to get back into the title race with just a few games to go brilliant team with sister on the left Ward Prowse on the right Mkhitary in the cam and Alexandre Lacazette is their striker today in a massive clash between two big teams Tarkowski to dinks over the top to Seri and now Kearney takes over into Mario Balotelli. Back to the captain trying to run in behind Ruiz. And he's beaten him. Oh, and he's clipped the top of the crossbar. What a goal that would have been from the skipper. What a goal that would have been from Tom there as he tried to catch Leno off his line. So unlucky as uh, it's still goalless. As Seri wins it back with a great start this from Fulham. As Balotelli finds Neres. And it's David. Dinks one in to Mario Balotelli. Oh! Well, we're going for some spectacular goals this afternoon, but sadly can't find the back of the net yet. Yeah, Neres dinks it in. Balotelli on the volley. Just fractions wide of that far post. Definitely goals in this game, no question. As Sergio bowls that wide towards Fossi Mensa, and away goes Timothy. And I'll try and send it down line towards Neres here. And Neres is Balotelli running in behind. I'll feed it into the Italian, who's held it up well. And steps inside and is denied by Leno. And it's headed away and Kalasnach will clear. It's all Fulham to start the game off. But again, the same problem. Just can't score. Tom out wide to Timothy. And again, we'll attack down this right and side. We're getting most of our joy this afternoon. Neres beats Kalasnac. The cross is deflected. But Balotelli volleys it off the post. Half an hour in. How have we not found the back of the net yet? Neres sent down the... Right hand side crosses Balotelli and Leno makes the save. Still goalless in this game. Half an hour to go. How have we not scored? Arsenal trying to get themselves in front here across the centre. Sessignon heads it away. And whilst we have played better in this game, Arsenal could nick it here. James Ward Prowse almost did. Just wide. Sancho looking to find Sessignon. And Ryan. Attacking power in this situation. Must take the lead here. Finds Balotelli for the first Fulham goal for Richard Leeson. Fulham finally gets in front and it's our new £30.25 million pounds that has possibly won it. Ryan to Balotelli. I tried to find Richard Leeson with Mario initially. For some reason he was playing it back. But hey, better late than never. Eventually it comes to our new number nine who keeps his composure and fires it past Leno. Fulham won, Arsenal nil, and finally, we've got ourselves in front. Chance for Arsenal to get back on level terms here. Mickey Tarin heads back to Lacazette. Got to keep our discipline. Shot comes in. Rico claims comfortably. As we'll quickly kick it out long there. Richard Leeson is in space. And the Brazilian, perhaps game winner, sends it down line towards Mario Balotelli. With Ruiz to beat. And he steps around him and looks to find hudson Adoy. He has hudson Adoy. Matt O'Reilly off the bench. And the academy kid wraps it up. It's Fulham 2, Arsenal 0. A first professional goal for Matt O'Reilly. And that will do it. 2-0 Fulham. Three points in a bag. Come on. Great work from Mario Balotelli and for us in the doy, that super selfless play there could have taken on from a tight angle but saw Matt O'Reilly arriving at the far post and from three yards he wasn't going to miss that Fulham 2 Arsenal 0 and a big big victory at Craven Cottage 
Well, I did say that come the end of today's episode, we would find out whether we are capable of winning the title or not. We may not have started off well with a defeat to Bournemouth, but talk about our response. Back-to-back -back wins here in West London against Manchester United and Arsenal. Two superb victories and big wins that will keep us top of the table heading into the closing stages. Come on! I thought we played well in this game and deserved to get the win, albeit from two very late goals, but delighted to see Rashad Leeson get his first goal for the club and O'Reilly too do the same as well. Balotelli will get man of the match though. He may not have scored today. His goal drought does continue but he played well, hit the post in this game and set up our first goal through Richard Leeson but again great to see the Brazilian score his first goal for the club. He's finally got one. Hopefully now the floodgates will open and he'll get many more as well. But that will end today's episode of Career Mode guys. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it and if you did enjoy today's episode then please do drop a like as likes are of course very much appreciated and your channel out as well. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day with 11 games to go it's going to be a frantic finish to the Premier League season. And of course, don't forget, we still have a chance at a treble in season two as well. Much love, guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you for yet another massive episode of Career Mode very soon. Bye.